what has been going on behind the scene. Uh, I was myself surprised when uh, to read a passage from uh, I have it with me here I have it with me where Ravindra Kerekar is supposed to have told a group of Devnagari activists that don't worry for the Karam Silva for the Viega Putino some three four other leaders have agreed to it and uh, that's it I just wanted to quote that anyway, so then I was see actually if, actually if you go to see uh, the Devnagari script has been the script for the Hindu section and the Roman script has been a script which has been used by the Catholic section and the Catholic institutions. But I was surprised to come across these meetings and number of meetings we were had where it was decided to give a go by to the Roman script. Now, what happens if a script is given up? And has it at any time in history people have given up a script? As I look at it, you give up a script and you give up the language. It is as good as giving up the language. It is as good as making a section illiterate. Uh, see, it is not that this issue has not been there. Even in the year 1946, when the constitution was being formulated and discussed, the language that was spoken in the constitution or the language which Pandit Nehru and Mahatma Gandhi had agreed upon, the Congress party had agreed upon, was Hindustani. It would be both in Devnagri and Urdu. That was the language which they had gone ahead in the Constituent Assembly. It is only after partition that Hindustani lost out. And now we know, particularly from the writings of uh, Christopher King, that the Hindi movement of the 19th century has been an express Hindu nationalism movement which, whose essence lay in denying of existing assimilation to the other section. And it has, it has its bearing or it has led to the Hindi nationalism in the 20th century. I was also trying to find out if what happens when two scripts are possible and available. Should one section give up the script or the other section or there should be both scripts to be used. Uh, this happened for the Sindhi language. Sindhi was in Arabic. But after partition, <coughs> the Sindhis who came to India wanted to have it in the Devnagari script. The Bombay University passed a resolution and passed a order that henceforth Sindhi will be in Devnagari script. And they realized that they don't have literature for that script. Within three months, in 1940, if I am not mistaken, the 
government has really reversed their decision and they said that it would be in both the scripts. It would be in Devnadi, also the Persian script. Because in Persian script, there was literature available. The same thing happened for the Kashmiri script. Prime Minister Aladi Swami Ayer in the year 1943, 1940, if I know, 1940, sorry, 40, yeah, uh, passed a order that Kashmiri would be in Devnagri district. And there was a problem. The then education minister passed another order saying that Kashmiri, it would not be Kashmiri, it would be called simple Urdu. It would be taught in Devnadi and Urdu, both, both scripts. And not only that, a order was passed that the teachers would be given opportunity to learn both the scripts. There would be freezing of further teachers and teachers would be taken in case they know both the scripts. Thereafter, somewhere in the year 1943, the Congress party also passed a similar resolution and it was said that Urdu would be both in Devnagri and Urdu script. The official language would be Urdu. Would be Urdu. Now, something like that could have been worked out in Goa. But Jason has uh, given the history behind it. But somehow, my feeling is that the Roman section or the people propagating the script at that time uh, did not see the seriousness of the matter while uh, the Devnagri section went much ahead and I look at it them going much ahead because they were very well connected see some of the top languages of the country, we have something like 121 languages. Only 22 find place in the constitution. A very important language called Tulu, spoken in uh, southwest Karnataka, some parts of Kerala, okay, sorry, some parts of Kerala has, does not find place. Now this is also because the Konkani section was very well connected through Tata Sahib Kalankar to Nehru, like uh, our uh, uh, Chandrakant Kenny, uh, then uh, um, Ravindra Kalankar, we are directly working under Kaka Kalankar, very closely connected to Nehru and the Congress party. And according to me, that helped the Devnagri section to go further. But the Roman group somehow lost out in this whole uh, process. Uh, one minute. Uh, now, having lost out, what is the what is the <coughs> remedy? Now, I would I would find that uh, there can be lot of lot of remedy that could be seen. Like uh, particularly when it comes to state patronage for books published. There has to be equal recognition of the books published in other, other script. There has to be there has to be uh, uh, government support for this script. Uh, I mean Roman script because it is a script that is that is spoken about by a section which is about 23% or 24%. Uh, 
one last point I would like to make a mention before I go. That is, what happened during medium of instruction issue. That time, this issue came to the fore. And uh, Jason has pointed out that also, see, it is at this time that the Catholic section, which was veering towards the English language in medium of instruction, were treated almost as traitors, traitors to the state of Goa. Because they are trying to send their children to English medium schools. I do not know. Mahatma Gandhi got educated, did his law in England, went to South Africa, came back to India as a middle-aged person, and then wrote in uh, Gujarati and English, whether he would consider himself a traitor to the cause of Hindi or writing in English. B.R. Ambedkar himself wrote extensively in English. And further I would say, this whole issue of one country, one language, one text can't be in our country where there is diversity. And the next I would say is the whole stress on Hindi as a national language also lost out in 1967 when the official languages act was amended to say that English shall be the official language, the associate official language until all the states agree not to have it. Uh, thank you, Jason. You have brought the topic on the table. Uh, for me, it was uh, good really it gave me a lot of insight into how it happened. I never realized how this, this came about. I had marked out actually the conversations which uh, you have said that the meetings you have held and you have named the leaders of the community which uh, sort of gave up on the script. Thank you.